Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kripe Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to look at uh, look at our sky settings. And uh, to do this, the things that I'm getting ready to do, we're going to uh, lose this light right here. And let's uh, do with a realistic sky. Lose the ground. Let me show you why you lose the ground. Uh, let's go under here. If you render, it's brown, just like the ground color. Bring it back up here and you can see it again. Lose the ground. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can do this. You can see up in the sky. You have to bring your clouds up a little bit, but it's worth it to do that. Alright. So let's go in here and let's lose the clouds because we're not really uh, we're not really into the clouds that much. We're just doing the, the, uh, the sun and the moon controls basically. Uh, let me show you a little trick with the sun. Let's bring this over here. No. First of all, let's set this up right. This says that's, that it's on the y, uh, y axis. Oh, it is the axis. I was thinking plane. But your sun should be right here or opposite that. It's opposite that, dang it. Or maybe it's here. There we go. And uh, I want to show you something. You want to make the sun disappear? All you got to do is do the sun size to zero. Uh, why would you want to do that, you wonder? Uh, I assume that you're wondering that. I'm just going to tell you why anyway. Uh, because you want to make, you, you pretty much want to just mess with the aura. If you want the uh, aura to be a different color, if you need different colors in your scene, you can enhance it a little bit with the sun control. See that? Bring that down a little bit. What do we got here that's messing with us? The haze and altitude. Let's lose that too. Global brightness. Bring that down a little bit. And see how you have a little more control even this way. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, enhance this a little bit, I want red on this side and I want green on this side for some strange re reason, right? Uh, go ahead and show the moon and bring it to pretty much the exact same position. Oh, you want to see something cool? Let's make the sun size up. Let's make an eclipse. Move this over just a smidge, just a smidge, just a smidge. And then make the moon black. Kapow! And there's your eclipse. The one that comes with Carrera, it shows the moon. Uh, make your moon black and you don't got to mess with that. Uh, let's make the aura size that big. And let's get it away from the sun so we don't see it at all. And let's make our aura green just like we wanted. Just like we want our scene to be for some reason. And move this over like this. And you got the... You got that on this side. And then let's bring the sun size down. Bring the aura up. And now you have a little red on one side, a little green on the other. Let's see how that looks. Ooh. Neat, right? And uh, I have a little star scene that I want to throw in here. I don't really want that green. Let's do it like this. Do the standard and render that pretty now I have a uh, I have a uh, map that I made a star map that I made from just playing around with lights and stuff using the glow settings and I may have already done a tutorial if I haven't I'll probably do another one uh, to show how I do that but let's do stars dot jpeg that's the one kapow kapow stars in here and now we have a nice bright scene now the brightness of your atmosphere has nothing to do with your you know I'm getting ready to say that and I don't really know for sure has nothing to do with your the the brightness of your background your background stays consistent depending on what you do in this area right here in your backdrop settings let me show you something here if you want to bring that down a little bit it's a little too bright for your scene just bring it down and you can see the feedback going in real time in your in your preview window 
See that? And you can do a lot of you can do a lot of cool things uh, with it. It doesn't have to be this dramatic. It, as a matter of fact, if you want to uh, sell the realism of a scene, you can you d you can mute your colors just a little bit. See that to make it look just a little more. muted. See that? Shows your stars, shows your sky, and uh, yeah, it can add it can ha add a little bit of uh, color to your scene, you know, if you want that color. Or if you want any color. You can pick your own colors and, and do that. But uh, yeah, it's a, those, that's a neat little trick to know. Uh, you don't have to show your sun or your moon. Oh, let me show you, let me show you another trick while we're, while we're talking about this, and then We'll cut you loose. Uh, let's go ahead and reset everything to default. Got this. All right. Sun size, aura phase. Let's bring our aura sizes down to zero because I want to show you something really cool. There it is. Let's make our aura black so we don't have to worry about accidentally you know, doing something with it. But uh, you see how far the moon is away? Uh, and this is, uh, this is something I want to show you too. If you throw your moon into a scene and you have a backdrop, your moon has to be brighter than the brightest element in your scene or it's going to show through. Is it showing through here? I think it is. Yeah, you can see the stars in the back of this. Um, I've seen renders and I've done renders where uh, where that you just went go ahead and let the the star spoke through. That's really not a good look. Uh, you know, it kind of takes away from it. it. Makes people think of something other than what you're trying to sell them. Right? There we go. Um, but the moon is real far away, and there's no way that you can really uh, adjust this. What you can do, though, is go into your um, go into your camera settings and let's uh, crank this up to 500 and let me show you what we got yikes and it's harder to control when you do it like this let's do 200 just so you can still see most of it anyway there you go I see the sun, the star spoken through must be brighter remember that let's bring this down just a little bit render bring it down Bring it up, bring it to the side, bring it back over, and there we go. Now, you have a big old moon. Let's get the stars out of there. That's really distracting. Got a big old moon. Now, uh, let's go up. Let's uh, see what it looks like when you 500% it. Kapow. See that? Nice and uh, big. Now, what you can do is you can save this. Save as the moon m-o-o-n spells moon bring it back over here start a new document don't save and then in our scene we can load this up the moon there's the one and it's Targa I don't, I don't understand why Targa is the first in here but is that an industry thing? Because I'm not really comfortable with Targa yet. And see, it's the exact same moon. And uh, now you can add elements to your scene. Let's go. Let's uh, do something really quick here. Let's do a realistic sky. Yeah, a nail the ground. There you go. Now you have your. Uh, clouds rolling across the moon and it looks really cool and if you want to you can play around with your sun settings and your uh, moon settings crank your aura sizes up auto refresh this sucker and uh, do the tricks that we were doing just a little while ago and it, note that uh, these things will change the color of your uh, moon but uh, you, you might want that so, 
anyway play around with it uh, the sky control is a really cool way to do things you know I've, I've played with Bryce for so long and, and I just became so accustomed to it but Carrera is starting starting to slowly but surely uh, earn its place as my sky editor of choice so anyway that's it for this time I'm Kripe Man and I'll talk to you again later uh, bye